Welcome back to CVTV. I'm Mary. And I'm Janicia. And we are your CVTV, CVTV anchors. First, we would like to wish Janicia a very happy birthday. Please come to the office to claim your birthday pencil after CVTV. Here's the question of the week. What is the triple crown in horse racing? Good luck, and remember to put all guesses in the orange box in Mr. Tom's room. A winner we will announce on Friday's CVTV. Next, we have this week's movie quote. Can you guess this memorable movie quote? You're killing me, Smalls. Please put all answers in the blue box in Mr. Tom's room. A winner will be announced on Friday, CVTV. Next, we have Aiden with today's weather. Look for a sunny day this afternoon with highs climbing into the low 80s. We could see a pop-up thunderstorm throughout the afternoon and evening. Tomorrow, we are looking at possibilities of some severe weather as humid air moves into the state. Look for a high of 78 tomorrow. For your CVTV weather report, I'm Aiden. Back to you, anchors. Don't forget that Crestview is hosting a blood drive today. Encourage your parents, neighbors, and other adults to donate. Students who recruit one donor that presents to donate re receive a backpack emoji. Recruit three people equals a movie ticket and a recruit. Five people equals a Dairy Queen gift card. Let's make a difference in our community and encourage the adults in our lives to donate blood. Next, we have another book talk with Nurse Lynn. Hello, everyone. Our book talk book today is G.I. Dogs, Prisoner of War. During World War II, an English pointer named Judy was the only animal to become an official prisoner of war. Judy learned early in her life that not all humans were kind, but she also learned that humans needed dogs. A dog's sense of smell is 100,000 times stronger than a human's. Judy was able to sense when enemy planes were close, and the soldier's morale was always better when she was around. Newspapers wrote stories about Judy, and she even barked on the radio. This remarkable dog was even made a member of the Royal Air Force, uniform and all. That's your book talk book for today. Back to you, anchors. The fourth grade has been busy planning summer trips around Indiana. Take a moment and watch another fourth grade commercial for a trip somewhere in Indiana. Come on down and take a seat with Madam C.J. Walker at the famous Walker Theater. It will be an affordable and magical, magical experience for everyone in the family. It is also a great learning opportunity for kids. The theater is very historical and de dedicated to preserving the legacy of Madam C.J. Walker. The employees are very helpful in any situation. You can audition, rent, and watch. It's a total deal. So go down to 617 Indiana Avenue or call 317-236-2099. Take a seat with Madam C.J. Walker. Next, we have Caprice with today's sports moment. Last night, LeBron and the Cavs pulled out a win in overtime against the Raptors and the Tornados. The Cavs were behind the entire game until the very end. LeBron missed 18 baskets and had one of the worst games. The final score, Cavs 113, Raptors 112. Also last night, the Warriors went up to games of the Pelicans with, with the win, the 121-116 victory. For your CVTV Sports Moment, I'm Caprice. Now we have Mr. Tucky in the studio for more Coach's Couch. Hello, Bobcat fans. I've been out for a couple days, but now we're back strong. And we're beginning a new segment on Coach's Couch, which is Coach's Challenge. And I have Ben with me. And Ben, what are we going to be competing against each other today? To solve, to see who can solve the Rubik's Cube 3x3x3 three three three, the fastest. Okay, man, the fastest. I think I'm in trouble in this challenge. But Ben, tell me, how long have you been doing Rubik's Cube? Two months. Just two months. Yes. What's your what what is, what what do you like best about Rubik's Cube? I like how there's different like things you can do. Like first you have the standard three by three. You also have side events like pyramids and cube and big cubes like four by four, five by five, six by six, seven by seven. You can even do non WCA puzzles. The WCA is World Cube Association. Whoa, I am in trouble for sure. All right, so here we go, Bobcat fans. On the count of three. One, two, three.
Then you're allowed to take them apart to do it. Um, I don't know what to say to that, Bobcats. Uh, I have water. I will put it on because I just got burnt on national television. Uh, but, hey, if you see Ben in the hallway, what a tremendous job. He's uh, got so much passion. And uh, as always, we'll see you on the couch. Next we have Today in History. Today in 1885, the magazine, Good Housekeeping, was first published in 1939. Lou Gehrig set a new Major League Baseball record when he played in his 2,130th game. The streak began on June 1st, 1925. In 1965, the early bird satellite was used to transmit television pictures across the Atlantic, and began in 1974, the filming of Jaws began in Martha's Vineyard. Massachusetts. Jaws would go on to define what the summer blockbuster is in Hollywood the following summer. Next we have Mrs. Hennessy with a very special message. Hey Crestview, um, I just want to come on and talk to you a little bit about our science fair that our sixth graders put on yesterday. Uh, first I want to say thank you to all the classes that came in and walked through our science fair. I hope you guys learned something. I know our students enjoyed being able to um, explain their projects and all their hard work to you. Um, I'm going to reveal our top finishers for our science fair. Um, so starting with fourth place, our honorable mention, we have Jennifer Cinto Grande. So go ahead and stand up, Jennifer. You got fourth place, congratulations. Will you real quick just tell what your project was? Um, my project was about the um, testing out um, waters of the pH. Awesome, <laughs> thank you. All right, and in third place, we had Jezebel Rivera Lopez. She got third place. Congratulations. Will you real quick tell us what your project was? I wanted to see if gum could help students dur doing their assignments and tests. Awesome, thank you. And in second place, we had John Stash. Awesome job, John. Will you real quick tell us what your project was? So my project was about testing the electromagnetic field that a speaker sort of emits and how it will affect the volume. Thank you. And in first place, we had Gracie Chavez with her project. Congratulations, Gracie. Um, my project was about helping people with the condition of focomelia. Um, he's touching technology. Awesome. All right, thanks, guys. And again, I want to say congratulations to all the sixth graders. They all worked very hard and had some awesome projects yesterday. All right, back to you, anchors. Today's quote of the day comes from wrestler turned movie star The Rock, also known as Dwayne Johnson. He turns 46 today. He says, success isn't always about greatness. It's about consistency. Consistent hard work leads to success. Greatness will come. Thanks for listening. I'm Mary. And Janicia. Have a great evening. Take care of yourselves. Stay responsible, respectful, and safe. And remember, remember to always find your voice in today's world. world.